Alright guys, welcome back to some ESO, or ESO, sorry, uh, Sherlock Holmes, I, I just got done filming some ESO. Um, yeah, welcome back to some Sherlock Holmes. Uh, we're gonna just kinda swap back into a normal outfit, cause I think we can now. So we're gonna just go ahead and do that. Just make him look like Sherlock Holmes again. Okay, um... Where did we leave off? Let's see. Investigate the murder. Break into Marley's office at night with Watson and find out the truth about the temple. So, let us. Let's go to Marley's foundry. Um, and break into there. And then we'll go back to the clubhouse thing and fuck with the globe. Possibly. The globe might be locked because it, it had some kind of things on it. And, you know what I mean? It had some kind of puzzle. And I don't think we have the pieces for it. So I don't think we'll be able to mess with the globe yet. Unless we find something at the foundry right now. If we find something at the foundry, then we're good. We don't got to worry about it at all. And we'll be able to just go do the globe. Watson, stay alert and you'll need to be quiet. Yeah, Watson. Make sure no one comes in here or I'll fuck you up, bud. I'll fuck you up, Buttercup. Oh yeah, this shit. Um, so it's three. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. There we go. Unlocked. What the fuck? Why is it so eerie? Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Conquistador? He's a conquistador, bitch. Did I miss that the first time? I, I didn't think there was going to be anything there. This door is securely locked. I must find another way in. The balcony doors open. Why do I need this? Why do I need this over there? Um, what do these do? I can't move it now. It's stuck just going up and down. Um, what, what is this one control? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know where this needs to go. Others might see nothing here but fence, but there is more to it than that. Okay, so we have a ladder.
There's no in between. It's either far over there or... Okay. I'm clearly not seeing something and it's pissing me off. It should be but the I hit all the one, it should be. But I was literally missing something. And I'm clearly not understanding what it needs to be done. Um What the fuck did that even do? to get moved. This is stuck in this one fucking spot. Can I play as Watson in here? If I can play as Watson. How can we reach the balcony? How can we reach the balcony? I can't interact with this gate. Others might see nothing. I, you're fucking annoying, Holmes. I'm assuming it must be need to. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Um. That's the only part I don't understand. So. This does need to get put back. I think we're going to use this to climb across. Possibly. Um, so we're going to climb up. Yeah, okay. I think I think I did it. So, yeah, I'm thinking... What side of it would I need to be on? Okay, so I can swap to Watson. Let me go here. Crap. Watson, I need your help. Watson, I need your help. Does it really just need to be so I like how fast it's switching there's no loading it's just it's into oh there's a ladder here oh I completely missed this earlier okay. figuring it out slowly I can't fucking see. I still don't understand how we're getting to the balcony. Because... Yeah, I don't see how the fuck... Oh, we're gonna get to that middle piece and just fucking jump. See, the only... That's the only thing I don't understand either is... Oh, the car has to be here. God damn it, I have to move the car all the way back. The car has to go because it actually makes the cage go on top of the car. And then that's the point time for the problems to just come across. I shouldn't have gotten ahead of myself. Now I have to backtrack. Redo everything. Okay. Let's move the thing real quick because it has to get moved. for the car to be able to just go right under it and then Holmes can walk across. But why let me move the car at all anyway if it spawns right there? <laughs> <laughs> Swap it again. 
There we go. Okay. Now we'll push you into position. Then we can lower the fucking uh, basket. This is what's supposed to be. Usually you have to move things. You know? And why give me the option of move it? I just don't understand. Look at that. I just can walk right across. And it leaves it on it. That's why I can move it. So now I have to move it right the foot back to the other side. Okay. I see. I see. I'm disappointed in myself. Move it in that direction. You can't pull it. You have to push it. This is way too bad. Okay. So that's good. Now swap the track one last time. Hopefully. It takes way too long to move this cart for me to have to do it again, right? Can you fucking... I'm clicking X, Watson. Thank you. Now we can swap to Sherlock. Walk right across. Why all of a sudden keep the concentrating the controls? It sucks too because this is actually kind of hard. Just because overcorrecting and. If only I had access to a free chain. How am I supposed to get you a free Oh. The chain from the cage. No. no. This lever won't help. Not the chain from the cage. This chain. I'm here! Can you let me in? No. A Mayan pyramid. A slot. It appears to be part of some mechanism. Obviously for a dagger. Mayan period, I think. You think? Should be fucking I need a dagger obvious. to work the mechanism. There's a recurring theme that connects all of these sculptures. Yeah, Mayan, you fuck. Mali is obviously an avid student of mechanics. Okay, I think that's everything upstairs. Oh, wait. 
Maybe not. We need to hurry and find out what Mr. Mali is hiding. Yeah, I need a fucking dagger. Do I have to make a dagger? I think I have to make a dagger. How much you want to bet I have to make a dagger? Told ya. It's a rhythm game? Dagger fits. Okay, so now we can go up here and fuck up the thingamabob. And then hopefully we get a thingamabob from the thingamabob to get a thingamabob. Oh, it's another room. I actually didn't think that. <laughs> I didn't know what that was going to do. I thought there was going to be something inside that will... Another sculpture. statue of Takun Uman. It's the statue. No, it's probably not. It can move, but a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson, unless you want to be speared by Takun Uman. So that's what happened. He's the killer. It's shut tight. Hmm, locked. Hmm, locked. Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. Interesting. What do I do? So, Bernard Marley built a mechanical globe. This globe has space inside. It should be possible to open it. Oh, I had to click on this again. Assuming we just have to make sure everything touches. I can't even fit there. So I wonder if this is supposed to go here. It can't go there. Oh, and then I can put another gear on top of it? Oh. Okay, hold on. So what if I do that? Take this off. Put this on this. Now that's spinning. Um. Oh, I made less stuff work, so that's good. I mean, technically, it shouldn't matter what I put on the bottom, right? Or is it touching that? To get this to spin.
Look at this. Okay. So the bottom one has to be big. As well as the top one? That doesn't make sense. Unless... Unless this one fits. So I think I have most of it, right? It's just this part I'm fucking struggling with. Okay. And then... Move this over there. The chain doesn't fit here. The chain doesn't fit here. Um. Now oh, I feel like it does need that. I wonder if I. If I put this down first. And then I can put this one down now. I wonder if the medium one will touch now. Damn, that one looks like it almost touched now. I know I need this over there, but let me just see. If they touch, and it's like they do. Can I just put them on top of each other, or do I need that spacing? I don't think I need that space. Oh, yeah, I do. So I wonder if I could use one of the little gears as a spacing. There we go. The chain. Honestly, though, do we even need the chain? So I wonder if I'm supposed to... Let's get rid of those. Let's throw one at the bottom. A spacer in the middle. The chain doesn't fit here. I'm so confused. I don't want to skip it. Chain doesn't fit here. I don't understand right now. The chain doesn't fit. You're pissing me off, Sherlock. I think I need the little gears to connect the chain. <sighs> I had to skip it. Can't figure it out. Hopefully, I don't miss a trophy for that. And we have our killer. Hold on though. I just want to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. Me skipping that, I don't think it's an issue.
Flinders metal object. It seems you found the key to the safe. Wow, wonderful. I know I am the chosen one. Tekun Uman wants to use me for his purpose. Oh God, protect me! I don't want to die. Yeah. A piece of a map in metal. Okay. No, we need that. This object evidently connects to something else. This part is in solid gold. It's worth a fortune. The statue is in three parts. <clears throat> Only the gold is original. Marley must have reconstructed the other two. Okay. It's almost daylight. The workers will be here soon. It's time to leave. So, let's see what we can deduct. Okay. So, clues. Superstition. Marley's work. Bernard Marley truly believes that he is the chosen one to the curse. Bernard Marley is afraid of the curse and is trying to defend himself. From it. I don't know. It does seem like he is. The club statue of Tekunamon's Automaton. I don't know. It did look. Nothing fits now. <laughs> okay. Um, so, find a use, find a use. Well, we know the use. So, I guess let's go back to the club. Because we know the use of both of those. They like, both revolve around that globe. This case is taking so much longer than I thought it was going to. I went to film this game tonight because I was like, oh, it'll probably only be like 30 minutes to finish the case, right? 30 minutes in right now. So I think it is an automaton, though, because that does make sense with everything that happened. The statue left. You know what I mean? The statue moved. So. Let's go into the clubhouse, though, and, uh, fuck with the globe. But I'm pretty sure the globe was missing more than one piece. So... I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue's spirit. Where was that other gold piece we found too? It was somewhere. It was somewhere. It might have been over here. But see, there's more than one piece. Um, where's Guatemala? Is that Guatemala? Oh, I guess we. Don't know. We'll put that in. Oh shit, we're gonna relive what just happened, huh? Yikes. Okay. Well, we're in the temple now. left to right. Oh, fuck. Shit, shit out of me. 
Oh, do I just step on the X's? Wait, no, because I stepped all the way to that one. This, this... I... That shit is taking much longer than I anticipated to get done. Um... Okay, so this way... Fish... Okay. Now we're back to where we were. So the question is, where do I go? I can step on this and the fish, but I can't step. I can step on these two. I'm fucking dumb. I'm fucking dumb. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> Those are right there. I, they were literally looking me in the fucking eye. Like, for some reason, I couldn't see, see them. This, this sound design right here is nice. The water dripping and shit. Sounds real good. I like that. Another fucking puzzle. Another puzzle with literally no explanation. Oh. So hold on, because that one I want to get to, so I gotta just turn this one. What was the first one I did? This one? And then I did the right one. Which is that one. So that made it turn into... No, that doesn't make sense. Um... Because, I guess, logically... Wouldn't it make sense to go and do this one? That should give me the next one. This one. It's some kind of equation. I just can't figure out what I'm at currently in the equation. But I think if I go ahead and do this one. If I do this one, it'll put me over there. I do 
this one. And then I think to get that other one, I think I know what I have to do. Okay. And then, so I did that one to get over here. So now, what if I do? This one wasn't enough. But now if I go ahead and do this. So now I just have to get over back to that door. So it's just based off rotation left and right, and then each one moves it slightly differently in terms of distance. So it's actually not a good I didn't get turned around, right? We are not finishing this chat, this case in this episode. Oh wait, they're both dead ends. Um. Oh, this is not a dead end. That's crazy that he just climbed that. Absolutely. That's a ladder. How are we even seeing all of this? Seriously? I know I was being chased by fucking spikes in the wall.
That's fucking. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fucking annoying as fuck. Wait, what's the other way then? Or can I just not crawl into that statue? That's clearly... That I can clearly crawl into. Oh lord. I'm scared. What is happening? How do I know the right way to go? Oh wait, it comes out of the mat, out of the statues. So wait, it comes out of the statues. Okay. This is annoying. That's crazy. I'm so far away. I didn't think he was gonna kill me because I was a whole tile away, but. So this is a dead end. So I don't think going right at all is the way to go. That didn't make sense to me.
Oh, it did it. There's been zero dialogue this entire time, too. Which I don't understand. Why is it just silent? I mean, it's eerie as hell. But, like... I, mean, I guess maybe that's just what they're going for. It's eerie. go right and it's never right what is this shit that was even a puzzle and here's the temple it's a temple within a temple are you serious Treasure of Takunuma. Oh, now the dialogue. This is the statuette that Bernard Marley, Sir Charles, and Zacharias all shared. The calendar. It was here. So Zacharias, Sir Charles, and Marley have all known about this from the beginning. No keyhole or handle. There must be a way. What is on there? Like a guy with stuff on his back? Or what is... How do I know which one? I just gotta pick? There's no fucking explanation. <sighs> There's straight up no explanation. The calendar. And it's very it was here. So Zacharias, Sir Charles, and Marley have all known about this from the beginning. The other one, I guess, is a fake. And there's two twos, but I'm gonna assume it's the one diagonal from us. Okay. Three. Let me see, is there any indication by what I clicked on? So that's three, and then there's that three. I think it would be this three. Just looking at the symbols. Ah, fuck. Okay, so one, two. Maybe they're all just diagonal. Maybe they're all diagonal, and the way that symbols look doesn't relate with the actual solution. So maybe they are all just diagonal from each other. Two. Three. Four. Okay. That doesn't even have numbers. 
or yeah. I think this is five. Oh wait, oh it's one. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong thing. So wait, do I click this one now? I'm confused now. Because the door didn't open. What? Do I restart after I do that? One. Two. One, two, three, four. Would this one be five? this one? Ah! Oh, no fucking aneurysm. <sighs> so, if it's... If it's the way I think it is, then I'm gonna do one... Two... and do one. Okay, and then I go across and I do two. Or wait, I already did that too. So I go over here and I do this too. Then I do this, the other three. Then I do this four. Five. Or, it's not five though, I don't know what the fuck it is. I guess that's ten. to this oh wait no okay there, I think that's it in there put those two together albeit blames the expedition members for his fate he seeks revenge and might adopt the curse to this end albeit believes that he was punished by the curse he does not seek revenge anymore uh, he should have bitterness for that. But, Sir Charles is unaware. Let's say that. Suspect is... I, I don't know, because there was an automaton. So if I say no automaton... Say it. Sir Charles could sell any other collection. Now they all correlate into this. The person who killed Zacharias had sufficient physical strength to make a powerful and accurate throw. Which all Albia is guilty. Which doesn't make sense. Albia isn't guilty. I really do think it was the automaton. 
Um, I don't know if it's Albia though. I, Albia is guilty. Albia is an adult, small stature as the killer as he wishes people to believe that the curse killed Zacharias Grayshoke and at a later date the what? Uh, I'm fucking stressing. Stressing out, dude. I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> um, I don't think it's Albiet. But it could be. Because now that I know they left him, it feels like that makes sense. And I mean, we know the curse isn't real. Uh, Arlie is scared. It's definitely not Sir Charles anymore, for sure. Um, but yeah, what's his face? Marley is definitely scared. This is, yeah, fuck. Marley's definitely scared. I'm gonna go with Albiet. Um, condemn Albiet killed for revenge with an accomplice for a short stature. They should both go to prison. Albiet will die soon. He is no longer able to kill anyone else. His short accomplice was used as a live weapon. They should be allowed to remain free. He should be condemned for this. As fucked as that was for him to get left behind like that, he should be condemned. It, it has to be him, right? It has to be. Because I guess it is true. The automaton would be really hard to do. I don't get how the statue just up and disappeared, though. That's the one thing I still don't understand. But it definitely wasn't Marley. Because the more I think about it, he was scared. Mr. Albeit. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult. That is not son. his son. It's a fucking Hold on dude. just one second. It's a whole-ass adult. It's a whole-ass dude, bro. Uh, a pygmy? As I suspected. Albeit brought him back from Brazil. You were both slaves there and you escaped together, am I correct? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. If only I'd had the time to get all of them. But Gulliver only did what I told him. It's for the judge to decide that. But given the nature of judges, I doubt Surprise. that you'll be leaning towards right. a pygmy who kills an Englishman. Check. Yep, because he, he, I mean, he said yes to it. Okay. So, next episode, uh, we will be starting whatever case is next. Uh, infamy. Ooh, looks spooky. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Sherlock Holmes... Uh, the Devil's Daughter. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.